Hi Neil here from the website neilcurtis.me and today I want to show you how to create simple contact forms using the CRED plugin and this is a plugin that comes in a suite of plugins called tool sets by a company called On The Go Systems. At the moment on my website I do have a contact form and it's just a really simple contact form with a name, email, comment and question field and then a submit button and I do own the plugin Gravity Form, which is great, and I use this to create the simple contact form. But I'm also playing around with the toolset suite of plugins, which includes CRED. So I want to see if I can create a contact form like this. And then when somebody fills it out, I get a notification email and it also stores the information in the contact form on the site. So we'll go ahead and look at doing this now. So I'll just go into my dashboard. So you've got a forms option here, but this is gravity forms. And what we are looking at is cred. So types, views, and cred are all part of the tool set suite of plugins. And there's also other ones. There's one called access for setting access levels to your website. So for membership set plugins, and also there's a layouts tool plugin as well. But now we look at cred. And one thing to say is cred has been designed and set up to let users add content and edit content on the website via a form. So it's not specifically set up for things like contact forms and other things like this. So there's a little bit of a process to go through. So it's not as straightforward as using other plugins such as Gravity Forms, for example, but it is easy to do. So we need the types plugin first to create a custom post type that we're gonna call contact or contact form. And this basically creates this custom post type which we're going to then fill out or generate using the cred form so i'll do this quickly so types is a free plugin so you can download that and there's a link here if you want to check it out but what we need to do is we need to create a new type so i have other ones on this site already because i use this plugin a lot it's a great plugin but i'm going to add a new custom post type we'll call it contact forms is a plural name and form is a singular name and then a slug contact and we'll leave that and then I'm going to get rid of that editor because we don't want that and this is just what shows up in the custom post type and I'm just going to leave all as default and I'll click that and so as easy as that, I've created a brand new custom post type called contact forms and it's down here. So if I have a look at that, if I say add new, you see there's nothing in there. All that's in there is a title field and I've got a breadcrumbs plugin which is displaying this, but that's not standard, but that's fine. What we do now is we, again, we use a types plugin and we assign some custom fields to go with this custom post type so here it is custom fields so I'll add a new custom field so again I've got other ones here from other things on the site but we want to create a new one we'll call this contact form custom fields and here we say what we're going to assign it to we're going to assign it to contact forms that we've just set up and now we just put what we want. So I want a name field, which I will leave as that title area. So then we also want an email. We'll say email. And then we also want a comment area. And we'll have this, this will be a multi-line area. Okay, so that's a slogan. It's going to be a required field, and then also I'll make this a required field. And I'll say it has to be a valid email address. And that's all we want for this. So I'll save it. And 
and we are all done with that now so now we can go ahead and create a new form and we use the cred plugin to do this so we'll create and then new form and by default it takes you through a wizard you don't really need to do this but we'll do it here so this form is going to be called cred contact form And then have a basic settings and like I mentioned before cred was specifically set up for allowing people to add content and edit content on WordPress websites via forms on the front end so it's not really set up to do simple things like these kind of contact forms but we can do it so basically we want to create content because we really want to create new contact form custom post types so we're going to create content then Choose what you want to do after the visit to submit this form. I'm going to say display a message instead of the form. And here's our message. So if someone submits a form, it's going to say, thanks for getting in touch. Thanks for getting in touch. We'll get back to you soon. We don't want any comments next so the next stage is choose a type of content this form will create or modify so it's going to create a new contact form and then what's the status well we're going to put pending review because it's not going to be published it's not really going to be a new post on the site but we're just going to put pending review okay and so now we go to the what we want the form to look like so I will add fields so the first thing you need to do is add a form container and so add these short codes which generates the form and now you put what fields you want add post fields again and then we've got standard fields and then we've got custom fields we're gonna have a contact form name which is the title field that's in there by default so I want that and I'm going to use this as the enter your name field. And then now we're going to have some of the custom fields we did. We want an email. And then finally, I want the comments and questions. Now we need a submit button. So form fields. And then here we have form submit. Right. So that's all of our fields. And we should give these a little title because people need to know what they are. So do the H2 tag just to make it sort of a bolder, bigger font and say name. That's what it needs to be. Right, then the next one is email. And the next one is comment stroke question and we've got our submit button right so the great thing about cred and this differs from other plugins and I, I really love this feature is you've got all your HTML sort of short code area here but if you want to style it you've got our styling area beneath so you can do everything on the same page which is really useful but for now, we're not going to style it yet, but we will do later. So now we go next because it's still in the wizard. Then add notification will automatically send email after submitting this form. So yes, we do want to be notified. Okay, so when to send this notification when submitting the form. Yep. Where to send this? Send notification to a WordPress user. Send notification to an email specified in the form. Send notification to a user. Send notification to a specific email address. Yes. So I will send it to neil at neilcurtis.me. So when the form gets submitted, I want to get the email. So these sent from details, we'll just leave these blank. Okay, so the subject of the emails, we'll say new email form. Contact. OK, 
okay and then body of the email so what do we want to show so we'll add the title which is the name field really I should have set up a custom post type called name but we've done the title here so we'll just leave it so we'll say title which is name has resume Okay, so someone has contacted you, check out the contact forms to see the message. That's what it is. You can put anything here. I could have put more of the fields in here, the email and the description of the email, but I'm not going to. Just finish. And then when you do that, it takes you to a full page that has got all of the different stages in the wizard. So now we are finished so i will add this form to a page now so we can go ahead and fill it in so i'll just create a new page i call this cred contact form okay and then we'll just embed this form so we've got cred forms button here so we have to wait to plug in so i've got this other one this is a gravity forms one that i use quite a lot but now we're using the cred forms and then new content form, insert short code, publish. I'm going to view this but in a new window because I think I need to do some stuff. All right, oh well, there we go. So actually, the formatting is not too bad because it pulls in some of the styling from the theme I'm using which is a Parallax Pro theme by Studio Press Genesis Framework. So it's actually not looking too bad. So if I look at my original contact form, you see it's doesn't look too much different really. It's got a full page here, whereas this has got sidebar. So I've got these options here because I'm using the Genesis Framework and Genesis Child theme. So I get these extra options at the bottom get rid of that no comments you want to make it full width update and there we go we've got a contact form there we could do a little bit of styling I want to make more of a gap between the bottom of one field and the name of the other field and I also want to pull the field a little bit tighter to its name but everything else I'm reasonably happy with so we can do that here, not here. So if we go to the cred forms, and we've got our forms, we open it. Right, so now we can we want to target the field and then with the CSS styling and say, push it closer to this name and then also put a bit of a gap between the bottom of the other name. So we do that by targeting the class here of these different fields and we can work out the class. There are specific classes for these cred forms, but we can see them. I'm using Chrome, the Chrome browser here, Google Chrome browser. And in this, if I right click anywhere on the page and go inspect element, shows me all of the code for this element you see if I move around it's highlighting different things in the form above so we basically want to target this area here the name field and you can see in this we have this class name here WPT dash form dash text field and this is the class that styles this text field here so let's copy that control C we go here so we go dot to target the class and paste it and then open and close curly brackets and then now we put in our styling so remember I want to pull this field I can close this now a bit higher up so we put a margin top of a minus number and it'll pull it up 
And we also want to push this field away a bit. So we put a margin bottom and push it away a bit. So say minus 20 pixels to see if it pulls it tight. So pull it up 20 pixels one way, then push it down 20 pixels the other way. We go to the bottom, update. Now refresh. And it's done that. And it's also done it for this one here because this too is a text field. If I inspect the element, we'll see it's a text field also like the last one. So that's great. But this area here at the bottom is not a text field. It's a multi-line text field. So we can inspect this one. And you'll see here, it is a text area, not a text field. So I'll just quickly style this. So text area, and we want exactly the same styling. there you go so that's our form embedded there so let's check it out okay so that's a really simple email so we'll submit it and remember it should show us a, a message which it does thanks for getting in touch we'll get back to you soon so that's great so i'm going to shut that so now we have our contact forms so click on that and there we go you have the new contact from neil curtis which is me and i've just done it now and then if i click on it there it is i've got my name email and that's the question okay so we should have an email notification about that so i'll just go and check and there we go new email from contact and then see the message neil curses because i put my name in has contacted you check out the contact form for the message right so there you go that is a way to use the cred plugin which is part of the tool set suite of plugins to add a contact form to your site if you want to check out more about cred or the other plugins that you get in the tool set you can visit this link here and see that and it would be great if you could subscribe to this youtube channel that means you'll hear about new videos as soon as they happen and also check out my website at www.neilcurtis.me where you'll see lots of other guides and tutorials about WordPress and other WordPress plugins.